this is going to be very easy for you. If you already if you did the tornado kick, you got that down solid. This is everything the same. You're going to use a little bit more power. The difference being when you when you throw your kick instead of dropping and on kicking leg down to land on, you're going to go a little further and you're going to land on your kicking leg. So this is Hyper Tornado, TKT language, or Old School Kicking Language 540. Just different people have different terms, so, so you know what it is. Um, I'll show you an example here real quick, and then break it down, and the little bit of difference that there is between the Tornado Kick and that. Okay, so you should see somewhat of a figure flooring in this. Different people have a little bit of different style and technique with how they do that. But it all boils down to you're taking your non-kicking leg and instead of just leaving it hanging, you need to keep it up and out of the way. One, just so it looks good and clean. But more importantly, you're going to have a tough time learning this move. At first, most likely, you're just going to have a fear of going that far and landing on your leg. So you're going to constantly keep dropping that non-kicking leg, or at least that's, that's typically what people run into trouble with. So imagine you're basically figure flooring. You're going to take the inside part of your non-kicking leg and probably back of the thigh here, maybe a little higher, try to make it a goal, try to put it like on the butt cheek of the other leg, but it'll probably be like right about here. That's what you want to be doing in the air. So when you come up and kick, if this is out of the way and it's tucked up here and your arms are in, which is now going to be a lot more important in this one because you got to get that rotation, you're going to swing and try to pull them in or at least keep them from being way out here all crazy flaily. Um, so the best drill for this is aside from just working your tor tornado kicks really good, they should be solid before doing this. If you're having a rough time with tornado, just keep working on that until those are effortless and easy. You can do them high. Once you're there, the best drill I've found for this is starting out, just get used to the idea of the turn that you're going to be landing on this leg. You think about it, when you take off from your setup, you're right about here when you're taking off and you're going to land here. So you're really only doing about 180-ish in the air. You're, you're still not doing a whole lot of spin in the air, but you gotta get comfortable with landing on that leg you're kicking with. So you can start by just simply jumping over your non-kicking leg. You can hop off it for this, and the kick you'll be off your kicking foot still. But just to get you comfortable with that motion, That's what it's going to feel like when you come off the ground for the most part. To make it more accurate, you're going to want to do the figure four. Again, for the drill purpose, you'll jump from your non-kicking leg, but when you do the kick, you'll be taken off from your setup out of your kick leg. So when you throw a kick across, you're going to just throw a round kick, hop off your non-kicking leg, and then figure four it. Bring your arms in. Make sure you're spotting your target. But this right here is probably the best drill just because other than taking off on a kicking foot instead of your non-kicking leg, this is exactly how a 540 is going to feel coming out of the setup. So you're going to spot, get ready for your kick, and then you throw the round kick and then just figure four rep. Again. So that is the kick. You got the kick coming across, hands in, you figure forward it. Now it's just combining that to your setup. The setup is the same, and when you come out, you'll want to make sure that you're really using your arms. If you were not using them heavy in the tornado kick, you can kind of get away with that. With this one, you're going to want to use your arms more. Make sure you're winding up coming across. I find some people will say pull your arms straight across and that works uh, fine but for me I find I kind of like a weird circle just a little bit of upward momentum 
So when I do it, I'll actually go at just a slight, barely, just like a slight downward angle. Because that way, when I'm coming into it, since it's a circle, instead of flat, it's like this. So by the time I get back, my momentum's going a little bit more up. And you really got to drive that non-kicking leg on this. You cannot be lazy on the takeoff. You really got to pull that thing hard and then tuck. But yeah, with your arms across, you're going to be taken off. They're going to now be at a slight upward angle, kind of helping drive you up in the air. And just rip that non-kicking leg across. And once you're in the air to snap that kick, just focus on trying to do this. Just commit. Some people, this is not an issue with. Some people can just do it. A lot of people, I know myself, when I started, I had trouble for like two months just committing to getting over and landing it. I was always afraid I was going to snap my knee or over hyperextend it or twist it pretty badly or something. Finally, I started committing to it and then, bam, I got it. I haven't actually been working in it quite a while, so I should be practicing it more. I'm getting a little rusty. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be the big thing is commitment. Make sure that you're working those drills and then you're just going to seam that drill into your tornado kick setup. Just like a tornado kick, instead of dropping that leg down, you're going to figure for it. And keep your hands in. When you pull your hands in for after the setup, when you pull them in, you will see, and you can practice that in your setup drill. Keep them open for a couple, and then do a couple where you pull them in. You'll see there's a big difference in how fast you're going to spin. So work those, and just build up the courage to commit to landing on that kicking leg, you will be all right. So that's it for the 540.